Paris.com. It's a Canadian company. Everybody's computer should go to that website, I think, just to entertain Interpol. Usually it's a good way to make friends, but occasionally I make enemies wearing that t-shirt, which is also fun, because usually they, you know, they say something and they, they suddenly are surrounded by people who think they're strange for, for liking the president, and they realize they're in the minority. I was wearing the t-shirt in Houston, Texas, and in the organic vegetable section of the supermarket, and um, there's one elderly man, they're always white, the people who don't like it, they're usually dressed in suits, but uh, this guy, he was pointing at the picture of George, and his, his finger was shaking, and he was saying, he's a man of God, he's a man of God, and uh, it's pretty freaky, so I, I wrote this song for him. I've seen you in the streets and at your political conventions Talking of your crusade, talking of your nation and other things too terrible to mention And you proclaim your Christianity, you proclaim your love of God You talk of apple pie and mom I just got one question and I want an answer Tell me, who would Jesus bomb? Cause they're not Jews like him Maybe Jesus would bomb the Afghans On some kind of vengeful whim Maybe Jesus would drive an M1 tank And he would shoot Saddam Who would Jesus bomb? the TV and on the battleships. I've seen you in the house upon the hill. And I've heard you talking about making the world safer and about all the men you have to kill. And you speak so glibly about your civilization and how you have the moral higher ground. While halfway around the world, your explosives smash the buildings. If you could only hear the sound. But maybe Jesus... a little too rowdy for some people, I think.